Good morning everyone. Welcome to Christmas Eve. When this video will be going out, we are getting ready for a morning walk because it is frosty and beautiful outside this morning. And I've just done a PT session. So getting Porter out is the aim of the game, but it is gonna be one heck of a sunrise this morning. So wrap up warm and I shall see you out on the walk. I've got my new purdy coat on, which is very, very lovely. Good morning, saucies. You ready to go? It's gonna be beautiful out there. We did our Waitrose shop last night. We did a late night Waitrose shop and we had such a lovely experience. We were really, really late actually and we completely underestimated how long it was gonna take us. And um, by the end of it, the staff were like helping us with our shopping to get us out of the shop, obviously. But then when we were walking out, I think he must have been the manager or something, handed me a bunch of flowers, the ones that are in the sink there. I thought, gosh, we have such a lovely, a lovely local Waitrose. I'm such, I'm such a fan. Anyway, I've got to get my socks on and my boots on and head outside because I do not want to miss this. Look at that. It gets even better over there. Wow. So frosty. Wow, it looks so much brighter on the camera than it is in real life. But the moon is still out up there. And then we've got pink skies over there. Perfect, perfect morning. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful it looks. Come on, Porchy. Goodness me. How magical. This is my perfect morning. Your last video. Yeah, this is the last video. The last video for like two oh, weeks. Very Christmassy way to start. I know the most wonderful way to start the day. Good boy. Look at this, poor Jean. Most perfect nice morning. Nice hard on the ground, which is means we're gonna have a pretty clean dog. Yes, we'll have a very clean dog. The light in here is very strange, but that was absolutely spectacular. Even now, it is looking so lovely and frosty out there. Oh, I love it. Honestly, that walk probably took us twice as long because we were just stopping and taking videos and pictures because it was so beautiful out there. Honestly, I feel like I'm like, <gasps> I can't stop going on. I'm sure Ali gets so annoyed. I'm like, this is amazing. I love this so much. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'm going to jump in the shower now. I can barely talk because my face is still so cold. And, uh, Next up, I've got Alex coming to do a fresh set of Christmas nails. Actually, I'm going to quickly do a hot water bottle for Porter because he gets so cold that his little balls disappear into his body. So I'm gonna get him a hot water bottle. <laughs> Naughty body. Naughty body. Ready for a hot water bottle. Alex, how does it feel to be in the first video of Vlogmas and the last video of Vlogmas? Amazing. And improved. <laughs> now yeah, Alex has got like makeup on. Pardon? Like a pair of <laughs> He's being very. Ali's being very horrible to her. Is that nice, buddy? Is that <laughs> nice? You're having a good time there. Alex is here to do my nails. I've just given her her Christmas presents. Obviously, I don't have a Christmas present. No, you do have a Christmas uh, present. It's just in the coat. <laughs> oh, wow, it says base coat on it. Yeah. That's very cute. Yeah, we've got one for Sienna, Harlow, and two for Alex. I think it's two for you. Is it two for you? You got uh, three for me. Alex. Alex. Alex, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We're in the car. Orgy is in the back. He's got his little sick bucket, just in case, because he just had breakfast. I've got fresh nails by the one and only base coat that you can't actually see 
So we went one layer of satin slipper and two layers of June Bride. And they are absolutely perfect. But we are leaving now to go and introduce Porter to Archie for the first time. He's got his jousting jacket on. Goodness me, half 11. We've already done so much today. <laughs> you okay, sick note? Oh, look how chestnut his, his colouring looks on his schnoot. That is just the richest chestnut I've ever seen. That's what I think they, they should be called. Ebony and chestnut. I like his little um, eye. Eyebrows. Yeah. Little eyebrows. Little dots. Yes. Well, we have just finished up at Ali's dad's house and oh my goodness, it went really well. It's, it's well in the way that Porter always does dog meetings because like Porter, he's just a bit relentless and he's always like, he just wants to non-stop play. But I think that they're exactly the same because they were, they were literally crying at each other through the door, weren't they? But it's just that um, Archie's a lot bigger and a lot heavier than Porter and Bolly and I don't think Porter's really ever had time to play with a dog as big as Archie um, or any dog bigger than Bolly so we just wanted to make sure that it all went okay and it, it seems to have gone really well they seem to actually really like each other and there was a couple of times when Archie made Porter squeal a little bit and as soon as he did it he like it honestly nearly made me cry when when because he did it every single time he completely backed off as if like oh I've gone a, I've gone a bit far then sorry and just kind of backs off and I was like oh this little boy has been given a girlfriend because he was trying to hump his daddy's arm the other evening and he was getting very upset about it. So he's on girlfriend number five now. <laughs> you know. And this is what he does. He bites down on the head and massages her neck. He also licks her. So he is, he is nice, but then he also has already removed one of the ears. So, and he breathes very heavily. Yes, you. <laughs> but I am absolutely exhausted today. I've not slept well the last two nights. I think, I think, hold on, let me turn the Sonos down before you um, get me a YouTube copyright claim. I've not slept the last two nights because I think that all of the worry about Christmas has really got to me. And I did a lateral flow test today and it came back negative. So all was not lost basically. And um, I felt so much better because I knew that I was okay. Um, and now I'm just exhausted, but I do still have acupuncture this evening. But I have just received a delivery from Aurora Home. And I'm thinking that this is going to be perfect She sent me a tablescape's worth of her beautiful, um, like brass, rustic candlesticks. And literally, I, not candlesticks, candlestick holders. And this is exactly what I need for our tablescape uh, for Christmas. So I'm gonna have a little judge now. I've already got my ideas for um, the, like table settings um, and my ribbon has arrived. I've gone for this beautiful, like deep mahogany ribbon. But these candlesticks are from, the, the, the candlestick holders are from Aurora Home. So I'll link them down below. I'm thinking red candles, but we shall see. Oh, they look lovely. I'm actually a bit gutted. I wish I bought the oak leaf napkins from Thai, because I think I've got the other ones that are a little bit more spring-like. But what I might do is use these ones, wrap the ujimi flips, and then use my ribbon like that. But I do have these ones from Bertioli, so I could use those, but I think that they're a bit too Spring. So these are definitely the world's tallest candlesticks. So I think I need to let them burn down just a little bit so that they're not quite so high. Um, but I can't decide whether I think I need some red ones in there maybe, just a few deep red ones and then we can have the warmer ones 
as well. Ali on the on the lawnmower because our gardener let us down today, so he's doing doing the uh, leaves and tidying up the lawn. Yeah, but I love these candlesticks. Such beautiful quality as well. I wanted to get some antique ones, and I'm sure I'll get some more antique ones and um, kind of feed them in. I actually think that we could have some more like staggered height as well, but I'm gonna refresh all of the water and continue setting the table. Well, I am back from acupuncture and um, feeling like a new woman. I've probably got makeup rubbed all over my face. <sighs> Where do I start? So I had a usual kind of like acupuncture block clearing thingy and I always like, I can feel them and like, they just feel so nice. And then we were talking about, hello my love. We were talking about like, um, the tension that I feel here. Like I'm a very, very calm person nowadays, but um, it just, I still seem to like hold stuff here. I don't know whether it's like a protective thing or whatever, but I like hold tension here. And obviously I have massages and stuff like that. Anyway, we're talking about this thing called cupping and also gua sha. And I think probably if you're into beauty, you might have heard of gua sha because it's all with like the um, rose quartz and stuff like that. But this was completely different. And I had this done on my neck and my back. I'm gonna show you what my back looks like now. Because honestly, it just felt like she was kind of going like that on my skin. It didn't fit, like didn't hurt. If anything, it was almost like a kind of like, oh. And it feels like my neck is like renewed, but I'm gonna show you this, okay? Well, you might be able to see a bit of it on my neck there. I don't know if you can, because I can't see. Look at that. Oh, I think we may have solved the uh, mystery with regards to my headaches because I think that when she was doing that I was like oh my goodness <laughs> it was very very nice and then on the way home I feel like I, ha I just had an out of body euphoric experience Ali um, played a song to me the other day by someone called Tony Anderson and it was called Butterflies and the moment I heard it, I was like, Ali, oh my goodness, this is, this is beautiful. Anyway, I just put on a playlist of his singles. Oh my word. That Tony Anderson, babe, mm -hmm. his music yeah. almost made me cry in the car. Really? Oh my goodness. It is unbelievable, actually unbelievable, his music. I could not believe it. So I know what I'm gonna be doing tonight. I'm gonna be cooking dinner and I'm gonna be listening to his music and probably chilling out, but yeah, so I've got my war wounds, but very bizarre. I feel like I'm like regenerated. I was nearly like asleep when I was there. Um, but yeah, wow. I actually can't express to you what my neck feels like. I can't wait for the next time and to try cupping as well. And I don't care about the bruises and stuff like that. I feel like they're like war wounds. I'm like, yeah, that's two years worth. <laughs> we have finished up dinner and Ali is just making some mulled wine and Porty is with his girlfriend in here. We are about to light the fire. We've brought all of the remaining presents that need to be finished off wrapping. We need to do the uh, ribbons on them. So we're gonna have mulled wine. We're gonna put on a Christmas movie, light the fire and just spend some time. We're really gonna make a real effort to uh, not be on our phones over the Christmas holidays. It's something that we are quite, um, passionate about doing better. My makeup is all over the shop. This is what happens when you um, have acupuncture. But yeah, so we're gonna have a very lovely, wholesome and cozy Christmas evening. So we have Ali's pile of presents there, I believe. And these are my pile. So we are just gonna get them all wrapped up with some ribbon and some name tags. Jing Jing. Oh, I wonder what this is. No, those are my ones. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what this is. I'll come out.
watching him rap is a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty? Look at those sausage fingers going. Look at the care, the care and attention that he pays <laughs> making the boats. <laughs> Porty has finally stopped humping his girlfriend and has passed out <laughs> in front of the fire on his daddy's arm. Oh, Porty, you're very tired. No walkies for you tomorrow. No walkies. No. Hello everyone. It is Christmas Eve Eve and it has been a very, very good delivery day so far. It's actually, um, it's actually been a huge delivery day of food. We've received um, our Christmas hamper from Ali's mum and stepdad, which is quite honestly, the most beautiful hamper ever. We've also finally got our Boxing Day food delivery as well. Um, so this is everything that we're gonna have. Well, not everything, everyone's kind of bringing something like my sister-in-law is doing uh, the desserts. My stepmom will no doubt bring um, like all of the um, like Persian food. My mum, I don't know what my mum is bringing. Um, so this is what we've got, Make, kind of like the main bulk that we've got a um, pork, pork wellington sausage roll of some sorts, which I'm really, really excited to see. Um, also, just lots of bits kind of arriving. What I want to do today is head out to uh, the Bell Plantation and the farm shop at the Bell Plantation to see if there's anything we need to, to pick up. Um, and also any little bits and pieces for the final tablescape. Our house has been cleaned, so it's all ready. We've got guests coming tonight. Um, it was supposed to be six of us. Sadly, two of them have come, well, one of them has sadly got unwell. Um, we are basically all taking lateral flow tests to make sure that we're all okay. But other than that, it is all systems are go. My lovely Moet delivery has arrived. People always write in the comments whenever I say Moet. I went to a Moet dinner and I asked them, is it Moet or is it Moet? And they confirmed that even though um, obviously Champagne is in France. I believe it's actually a Swiss brand. So um, you do pronounce the T. You are within your right to correct me on that, but I feel like I've heard it from the horse's mouth. And um, we did end up having uh, Moet at our wedding and it is my favorite Champagne. So hopefully I'm saying it right, but if not, we will live. But we've had a delivery of 12 bottles uh, we went to Waitrose the other night and they were completely sold out. So I had to do a last minute order of two boxes from M&S. And actually the price was amazing. It was like 228 pounds, which is at the moment the, the best price I've found for six bottles. So we stocked up. So I'm gonna stock the wine fridge with those. Um, we've also received what looks to be a bit of a hamper from the team at Musée Home. Now I love Musée Home. I'm very, very passionate about their store. They are um, like a family run business. And basically I always describe them as the kind of decennio for um, like more country chic decor. So you can get beautiful, really, really beautiful prints um, on, a, a, you might have to uh, correct me on the pronunciation of this, but is it glycé or glycé paper? Please correct me in the comments, feel free. Um, and it's beautiful, like the, 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 the prints almost look like they are real, real paintings. We have uh, some of their prints in the office, we have some of their prints in the bedroom. They're just beautiful. So they sent us a very, very lovely Portland's hamper. So I'm gonna get into that first. And then my side tables from Sarah Raven have arrived and I've actually realized that these side tables, they had them at time. I saw a lovely potted fern inside, so I don't know whether I'll end up buying more of these and have them kind of dotted around the house. Morning, Lummy! Hello, my little angel bug. Say hello to your fans. Little soggy paws. Yes. Oh, 
Porty's crying. Uh, Lumi is not like Porty, she doesn't like being picked up for very long, so I can just about get one cuddle from her and then it's game over. Uh, right, let's get into this parcel. But honestly, they said a little something was arriving for me and I had no idea that they were sending something as wonderful as this. Oh, wow! And this is exactly why I love their pieces because this has been framed without glass and you can see as if you can see the brush strokes that is absolutely beautiful I'll link them in the description box down below and it looks as though our wine fridge is going to be very well stocked <laughs> because there are four bottles no six bottles in there Please let me know if anyone else's iPhone since the update is correcting you, spelt Y-O-U to Y-I-U. Like, why is that happening? I feel like this happens every time they do an update. One word just starts getting changed to something else. Hambledon, which is an English vineyard, English quality sparkling wine. Oh, so it looks like it's all English sparkling wines. Look how beautiful that is. So I have unboxed the side tables out here and they tie in so perfectly. The warmth of this bit here really complements the warmth on the fire pit. Ignore these logs that Ali's put in there. Um, and they will feel like they're really high um, in comparison to that. But obviously in the summer, this has a seat on it that's probably about that high. So it all comes up and raises up. So it's going to be the perfect height. And then I've popped some rosemary and thyme on this one no porter no you don't bring your girlfriend outside no because otherwise she'll get dirty and then you bring her in the house <laughs> um so i am so happy with these it is unbelievable so these were the old ones and they just look a bit plasticky to me whereas these ones tie in and just feel a little bit more rustic but like i said these would work perfectly for inside the house as well they also work perfectly for the kitchen garden if i wanted to um pop sorry you can hear the pheasants if i wanted to pop any like pots higher up somewhere they work so well i am over the moon oh my goodness <sighs> You know when you're like, is this going to work? Is it going to work? I don't know. But it works perfectly. I'm so happy. And this is the final sort of food delivery for the holiday season. This is our Christmas food order. Um, and we've done it this way. We've used Pharmacin because I wanted Ali not to worry too much about all, like preparing food. I just wanted it to be more of like a put in the oven, really good quality cuts of meat, um, really delicious food but without the sort of hassle because you want to be present with your loved ones. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw those. Himalayan salt one and the truffle parmesan. Yeah, I thought you might like those. Our um, sausage wellingtons. So they're gonna be like very bougie sausage rolls. We've got three of those, our gammon. Huh? Where does your foot go in? <laughs> um, and we've got some really lovely pigs in blankets. These are the luxury chestnut sage and apricot pigs in blankets. So we've got uh, more of those, we've got three of those. So these are all gonna go in the fridge in the shed. And then this is the cranberry sauce with port and orange. This is the fresh one because the other one was actually sold out. Yeah. That's like bougie as. Yeah, we just loved the idea of this so that we could be more present with everyone. You just missed quite possibly the funniest That's event cute. I've ever seen, Lumi. <laughs> Ali was in the fridge and Lumi just jumped from here and latched onto Ali's back and Ali obviously didn't know what it was. <laughs> he pooped his pants. I'm not sure what Lumi was up to. We're currently just organising all of the food. Now we're going to make some lunch and then I'm heading. I am finally going to head out to Bell Plantation. But Ali approves of the tables. Yes. We are still unboxing parcels. It is definitely a big delivery day for the postal service, I think. They're getting things... Well, done before Christmas, but my good in the hood. Christmas dress has arrived. I went for a black watch nice. tartan. Nice, got my jacket that's also <laughs> arrived. I've gone for a rouge. Is this one that you wear jacket. on Christmas Day? Um, oh, I could wear this on Christmas Day. Yeah, I think you should wear Just that. Just give me a second. <laughs> Very nice. Show them the details. Oh, very nice. That's so this this is called a smoking jacket. Well, I haven't opened the pockets up yet, but we will. Lovely. And how do the shoulders look? Because that was my concern. 
The shoulders look great. Look okay? Perfect, yeah. Yeah. This actually fits really well. Perfect. And if I look upstairs, I might not even need to take this to the boys. You're okay, Porcini? Little Porcini. This is my dress. It's from the Pretty Dress Company. And I wanted a black watch tartan dress because at the moment, as you can tell, I am absolutely obsessed. And I found this. I don't know if it's going to fit. That is the only thing. I may have to wear a belt with it, but um, it's got a lovely little V back detail to show off my bruises. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to be there for a while, I reckon. I don't mind, to be honest. Um, War wounds. Double hard. Yeah, well, I just I think it's quite cool to be honest because honestly, you would not believe all of that mm. came up. It just shows you, and it felt incredible. Oh, I think they use a metal scrape. It's a bone one she had. I'm right. Mm. Sorry. Though. Anyway, I am going to set off now because it's actually getting dark, so I need to go. Right, I have been very, very busy dressing this table and just giving it a bit of a rejuge. So I was going to wrap the uh, crackers in the linen napkins. I decided against it because it was too high up. But one thing I've realised is I really need to get myself a nice... Um, cutlery set for the table. Nothing too fancy. I always like the stuff that looks old. Um, but I picked these little tea light holders up from the garden centre today and they match those baubles. Remember the baubles that I was on the, the hunt for? Well, they match them. So it brings a little bit of the tree in and then Ali has just come back with the goods. He managed to get some dark red candles um, from Waitrose. We've got a little bit of Moet on there. I've got some beautiful, deep, uh, red grapes on the table which I think look really really lovely. I wanted to have some figs as well but sadly they were out of figs everywhere. Um, so I've dressed things with a little bit of Merlot ribbon and our it just goes to show how versatile this shade of green is because I've been able to style these in spring, summer, autumn and winter and every time it's just a case of changing up the bow a little bit and I've actually cut all of these to size so what I can do is I can um, collect them up and just save them for another year and then we've got an assortment of our thyme champagne glasses that we got about a year ago from Bertioli and these are from Garden Trading but these are the small tumblers. I've kept the posies that we had uh, from the beginning of Vlogmas and just given it a bit of a change up. So I got these little bud vases at the garden centre as well. So just to add a little bit of sparkle. I'll probably keep adding to this because I know what I'm like, but um, that is pretty much our festive table tablescape sorted. I think less is more because generally we're going to end up putting plates on here and food and whatever. There's going to be cranberry sauce and all of those kinds of things. So it's looking, I'm just so happy with how it's come out. I really have. But one thing I want to say is if any of the brands that do the beautiful tablecloths, like the gingham one that I have, um, or all of the ones that I have from the set, please, 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 even Bertioli, please can you do them as runners as well? Because I always feel really bad if I cover my table with an entire tablecloth. It's great for the table outside, um, but this one, I feel bad when I cover it. And so I'd really love beautiful runners because I feel like they're a little bit um, forgotten about in the tablescape game. And I think that they work really, really well. But anyway, I've just scattered some of the grapes um, on the table as well. But this has arrived, and oh my gosh, I did not think that this had even been dispatched, and Ali has just given me the biggest look of approval. These were some door handle tassels that we saw at time. They only had blue ones, ones I saw. And so I went on to the brand, I checked the label, and it was called the Columbia Collective. Oh yes! This is exactly what I wanted for the hallway. This is the perfect colour, this is like rust. So this one can go here and it matches up perfectly with the colours that we've got in the hallway anyway and just adds a little bit of grandeur. They were £17 each and I got a couple of different colours but very, very happy that they have arrived because they look absolutely beautiful and just really dress up our um, From the Anvil handles perfectly. I bought three of the green ones and then one of this kind of creamy colour, which actually looks really quite close to the colour um, of the hallway. So I think that works really, really well as well. But yeah, I love these. And as we decorate the rest of the house, these will be thread through, I think, because you don't want them on every door, but just some selective doors will look really nice.
we've got picky bits in the oven. That is the M&S Gruyere uh, cheese pot and oh my goodness, it sells out every year. It is the best cheese pot ever. It's like cheese fondue, oh my goodness. And then we have little portellini in here. We have candles and we have the fire on and it is just absolute festive bliss. We've got all of the lights on in the garden as well. Lumi is very unhappy because she just bought us a mouse and we put it straight outside, didn't we? Some little picky bits we're just starting to put out now. I've got champagne glasses ready. Good morning, everyone, and happy Christmas Eve. We had so much fun last night. It was really, really lovely. We were playing Heads Up and Who's in the Bag. They're probably two of my favorite games to play because they really like get people up, get people animated. And oh my gosh, if I've got some footage, which the good thing about playing um, Heads Up is you have the option to record a video. Well, it automatically records a video and then um, you can save it to your phone. And I just, I just think it's brilliant. Um, I have been opening up some, some cards this morning. Ali's gone to get his haircut, his Christmas haircut. And um, I'm about to go and train in the gym. Uh, on my Vaha, which is very exciting, but I've had some deliveries and I think, oh my gosh, I think that my New Year's Eve dresses have arrived. Um, I ordered three dresses from a company called Mila and um, I found them through the girls at Stories. They were wearing these beautiful, beautiful gowns, um, but they also did like midi versions and I think they've arrived. So I didn't get to show you all of my other dresses. I ordered some from Nadine Murabi as well, but I think they're gonna to be too tight. This is the box of dresses, I think. I've never ordered from this brand before, but honestly, I feel like this is the answer to so many of my prayers. Like I've always wanted like more affordable um, dress wear, cause like I'm not spending six grand on an Oscar de la Renta dress to wear it once. And it arrives like this. I'm actually gonna try all of these on if I have time. Oh, wow, so this has the ties over the shoulders, like this. Oh, look how sparkly that is. I wanted something for New Year's that's, hopefully if we're allowed to have New Year's, obviously, that's gonna be sparkle, but also, that's gonna be sparkly, but also elegant, and also make me feel amazing. And I obviously saw the um, Sabrina Belenko dress and I was like, oh gosh. Um, <laughs> but this is beautiful and it looks like my boobs will fit in that because that is very, very small. Around the waist still. <gasps> so beautiful. So I went for two black dresses and one sort of nude dress. One of them has long sleeves. So this is the pink one because I thought that this would just get worn whenever. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Again, it's got the, the um, tool ties that you can have in a really big bow on top of your arms like that. But I could also wear this for New Year's Eve as well because it's just as beautiful and sparkly, although it doesn't tend to seem, it's not coming across on the um, camera as well as the black. But I just wanted something super duper sparkly. Oh my goodness. And then finally, so this one is similar, same same, but different. Because I like the idea of this having long sleeves. So yes, so basically this is, this one's really good because this is like two dresses in one. So I've got the black bodice with the lace up back. Attention, this dress is non-refundable and can't be returned if you remove this label. Oh, good to know. Um, so it's still got the beautiful fullness, but I'll pop that there. You can add a sparkly layer, which is um, long sleeve, and this can be worn the V-neck at the front or like the high neck at the front as well. It's like three dresses in one, and I just loved this idea. And it's got like a little button, a button closure, well, popper actually. So you add the sparkle, and I thought that was really good. So if you're in, if you're in the market for like a Christmas dress, or well, not Christmas because it's basically Christmas now, but a New Year's Eve dress, this came in like 
five days, I think. But you'll also get the wear out of this afterwards. So I just thought that that was a really good one. Um, but I love the sparkle. Oh. But anyway, I'm going to get up, washed, dressed, ready for the day, ready to walk porty. And voila. Good start to the day. Don't have to worry about my New Year's Eve dress now. I am mid editing the end of Vlogmas and Mr. Millen Gordon is working out in the gym with his firstborn. This is my third set with her on. Wow, Lomi. You love your daddy. She, I don't know what it is about this room. Do you know what I wonder? If she loves this room, because this was the first room, do you remember that we, that we put them in? We kept mm. them down here to... Your safety room. Yeah, little safety room. Oh my goodness. Can you even cope with how beautiful this dress is? So this is the one that um, you can add the piece over the top. It is all laced up at the bottom. I feel amazing. I think I would wear my hair in a low bun, like a low, loose bun, kind of like that, if I was to wear this one. But this is it without the glittery bit on top. Now I'm going to add the glitter. So, like I said, you can wear it two ways. So you can have the um, v-neck at the front or at the back. I think I would probably have it at the back. Ooh, the little wrist holes are a little bit thing. It is getting glitter everywhere, but I don't mind. And that is adding the glitter. I feel like such a princess. I feel very Dior. That's what I feel like. I feel like I, yeah. Like a cute little bun at the back. So, so beautiful. I can't stop twirling. <laughs> but you have to let me know which one you prefer in, um, in the comments down below. I'm gonna try on all three. Okay, this is the other black dress with the big bows and I don't know whether I'm gonna wear this one or the other one, to be honest, because I actually quite liked the sleeves on the other one and I actually felt like it was really flattering. So I'm kind of a bit torn. Let me know what you think, but I have never ever felt more lovely in all my life. You have to let me know which one. And this is the final Mila dress. Oh my goodness, so it's definitely not as sparkly, but I've teamed it with a really beautiful, um, it, this is a Louboutin lip. I don't know what color it is. Uh, I'll pop it in the description box down below, but I wanted something kind of like a, like more of an orange undertone to go with the pink and to just give it a real kind of um, clashing, clashing look. What do you think? Yeah, lovely. But yeah, I think it goes really nicely with the lip and the dress. So this could be a contender, but this could also make a really wonderful uh, bridesmaid dress or birthday dress. But I'd say birthday, so maybe a bridesmaid could be. Yeah, it's quite. I, it's yeah. quite um, I don't know if show stopping is the word, but it's quite. You don't want to steal the thunder from the bride. Oh, I always want my. Yeah, my no, friends maybe to without look. the all of the the drape bit because that looks a little bit like you're trying to steal the thunder. Oh no, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't feel that way. I would just want people to look nice and feel nice, and if well, they look nice and feel nice, I don't care. It does look lovely. Yeah. I feel amazing. You have to let me know which one that you like the best. I'm, I'm, I think I might have to wear the red lip um, for Christmas anyway, or for New Year's, because I think it looks really nice, especially with a fresh tan. I've got a fresh layer of Saint Tropez Express on, so yeah. So, I guess, this is the end of Vlogmas 2021 and I owe you guys the biggest thank you for making this the most unbelievable year I think that I have ever had and I'm not even talking about like work like just I, I don't even want to talk about work what I want to talk about is just the amazingness and the turnaround and I think to where I was 
this time last year and I actually, I can't believe it. And I feel like you guys have helped me grow and watched me grow and been so kind in the process. So I'm just, literally I can't believe it. Honestly, I cannot believe that this is the end of 2021 and the end of Vlogmas 2021. And I'm just a bit emotional about it. Thank you for 900K here on uh, YouTube as well. I actually cannot fathom that we've hit that. I, I feel so lucky to have so many of you here and to have people still following and engaging and watching my videos in the way that you do because it really does mean the absolute world to me. So I just hope that your Christmas and your new year isn't, as dis isn't too disrupted by everything that's going on in the world at the moment and you get to spend it with, even if it's just one loved one, even if it's your cat, just to be surrounded by a little piece of love will be amazing. And I hope that you all have that. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in 2022. Holy macaroni. I can't believe it's gonna be 2022. I still remember the millennium. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be twirling and enjoying the festivities into the next year. So um, I will see you then. I'm gonna enjoy this break. Mr. Millen Gordon is, is soldiering in. There's no way I'm letting you finish the video without a little bit of class in it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna oh, stand it. I feel like we've had the best Christmas of the Millen Gordons ever. You smell sweaty. No, you smell lovely. It's a sweaty workout. No, you smell lovely. Yes. But yeah, so we will see you guys on the flip side in 2022. Bye. Bye. Why do I do that? Who does that? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>